Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to episode 19 of Let's Make a Mod and this time we're going to be focusing on making a mob and making a mob is going to require us to do like three parts of the tutorial. So this is part one, we're going to be modeling our monster. Part two is going to be texturing, then part three we're actually going to be coding and part four, I'm not sure. I don't know how far this tutorial is going to be but Minecraft 1.4.3 should be expected very soon. But uh, this tutorial is going to be in our way so we're not going to be updating our mod until we actually get done with our mob. So I'm not going to be updating to the newest version of Minecraft, which is going to be coming out very soon. But how about we get started actually making our mob? So what you're going to need is a software or this. Yeah, it's called a software. It's a program called Techni. It's absolutely free. So we're going to get this. And the best way to get this is you're going to open up your Internet Explorer. Do not open up your Chrome or do not open up your uh, Firefox. You're going to open up Internet Explorer, okay? The reason why is because you're going to have to save this download link as an application. And I tried this with Google Chrome and I tried this with Firefox and it didn't seem to work very well. But it works totally fine with Internet Explorer. So open up Internet Explorer and go to the link that's in my description. You're going to download Techni. So here is Techni. He's looking for help, I'm not sure why, but uh, here's Techni, scroll down and you could just read everything, you could read the shortcuts if you want to know how to copy and paste very fast, or delete objects, or redo and undo, just in case you made yourself a mistake. So here are the shortcuts, and there's other stuff you could just, yeah, just special things and all that stuff. So anyways, how about we just download this program? Right here it says website slash download, do not click on this link, what you're going to do is you're going to right click on this link, so hover over the link, and right click. Right here, save target as. You're going to save the target and make sure it's in your downloads folders. And here is, it's called Techni. This is the software. And make sure it's saved as an application right here. So just keep it as an application development manifest. So here, just keep it like that. No need for all files. Keep it as an application. And once you have done that, go ahead and click save. And it should be able to download your application, your program. So once you have done that, go into the folder, uh, let me go ahead and open this up, go to downloads, here's Techni. So it doesn't really have itself a picture, it just shows an application with a play button. And I have the old version of Techni, that's why it shows a logo right here. But once you have the application saved, and if you can't get the application saved, go ahead and check out my help forums. I'll be sure to help you out, try to get the application, application to work. Sorry about that. So uh, go to my help forums if you need any help, and let's go ahead and double click that application. Once you have opened that up, you should see that it actually worked. Here is the change log, which we don't need to read, and uh, let me go ahead and exit off everything. Now here is the new model, alright? So the model name, what are we going to name this model? I'm going to go ahead and call this guy Green Monster. So I'm going to make this guy a green monster, and he's going to be a basic model base. We don't need uh, you know, to use any examples. You could use a cow as an example, and it'll all automatically like generate the model but in this case I'm gonna just keep it plain I just wanna make it myself so here's model base here is the texturing which we're gonna deal with in the next part so uh, if you guys are really high into detail with uh, your pixel sprites well then I'd recommend you to go here to 128 which you could actually get to like very very high in detail I'm not sure if you could actually uh, go into these right here 512 because I'm sure you have to like patch your Minecraft if you guys are gonna be doing some high definition uh, modeling but uh, I'd recommend just to go with 64 by 64 you could go up to 128 if you really do want to but uh, I'm gonna go to 64 by 64 and once you have done that texture you can't change the width only the height and click right here create so once you have clicked that, then you should see that everything is empty. To scroll up and down, all you do is just mess with the, the mouse wheel. You just scroll up and down. And uh, right here is just a little uh, simple thing where you can just click on this F and it'll just keep everything organized. If you want to see the very top, just click on the green and it should be able to rotate everything to the very top. So in order to rotate everything, you just hold down your left click. No, that's your right click. So hold down your right click and you should be able to rotate everything. And your left click is to select on anything that you have out. Uh, already about so like a box or so so how about we start modeling you're gonna go here to standard all right so right here's a cube this is what you get started with we're not gonna be making circles we're not gonna be making triangles we're not gonna be making I don't know we're not gonna be making circles come on uh, because we're not gonna be using turbo model thingy anytime soon uh, because I I'm not even sure if it even updated yet but turbo model thingy allows you to make circles but in this case we're gonna be using model loader which allows us to make uh, you know uh, blocks spheres no not not spheres blocks that's it so uh, we're gonna be making a cube so click on this little icon right here that's called cube and you should see that a cube has randomly generated how how nice so it's very tiny you can barely even see it and you're probably wondering what the heck is this blue ball you said no spheres Steven what's up now just kidding uh 
this sphere is the offset uh pretty much we're going to be using that sphere in order to rotate our legs when you're running or to use it as a rotation uh offset i'm, I'm going to go into further detail later on until we start coding this but uh we're going to be messing with the offset and the cube itself so how about we start resizing this cube and you'll notice right here you should have yourself a uh, a name shape one so every time you create yourself a cube how about you name it because you have to name everything make sure everything is not named the same if you keep if you if you have like four cubes all named leg 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 and leg well then you're gonna get yourself an error when you're coding so make sure you name everything differently so this is my first leg I'm gonna call it leg one all right or you could call it right leg left leg if you want to get into detail but once you rename your actual uh, cube then click this little check mark and you are done up here in the very top you'll see that there is a weird looking uh, texture right here this is your texturing which we're gonna deal with we're gonna export everything as a texture and we're gonna be making our own texture we're gonna make a green monster so okay what you need to do is make this cube a little bit more bigger so you're gonna go here to dimensions and positions that's how you actually mess with uh, the width and the height of, of your cube the offset is that blue ball so this blue ball has to be uh, I'll show you what I mean after we we're done with the the dimensions and the texture offset we're gonna be dealing with with that uh, while we're texturing so go here to dimensions and start messing with it and make it as big as you want this is the leg you can make any monster that you want if you guys are making bunnies go ahead and start making yourself bunnies so I'm gonna make me a big big leg alright so here's the big leg and I believe that's it I'm just gonna make a super huge leg like John's leg uh, and what you're gonna do is once you create the leg let's see if that looks nice yeah it looks about nice Wait, once you are done, make sure that this blue ball right here is located towards the center of the leg. So go here to offset because the reason why you need this blue ball in the center is because when you actually rotate your monster, uh, it rotates very smoothly. So here's a, a good example. Here's rotation, right? Here's rotation. You'll see that when I start messing with it, it actually runs. Uh, you could keep it in the center if you really want to. So if you notice the rotation, this is like a monster running. You see that? Uh, it's positioned right here in the corner so everything right here is gonna be rotated uh, or you could rotate it like sideways it doesn't really make a difference or you could rotate it like this but uh, how about I undo everything because uh, I don't want my piece getting all weird so control Z is that how you undo stuff you can just go here to edit and undo if you messed around too much uh, it doesn't seem to actually be fixing so let me just go ahead and eyeball this and see if I could fix this hey man it did not fix Arrgh. hold on I'm gonna pause the video until I actually fix the rotation alright so if you are making a leg and you happen to mess around with the rotation you can't do edit undo which really does suck because then you're gonna be stuck with like a rotated leg so what I did was I actually created myself a new leg so here's the new leg and I'm gonna go ahead and rename this back to leg one because you can't keep everything the same name so leg one and yeah there we go so here's leg one and what we're gonna do is mess with the offset so how about we start messing with this and make sure it's towards the center of the leg not towards the bottom the center just like that so there it is now it's located towards the center if it's not on the center don't even worry about it as long as if it's close to the center that's what really matters so here's the leg and what we're gonna do is position it towards the plank that's located down here so make sure that it's on the plank and not really touching the plank well it could be touching the plank but uh how about we just let me show you an example I'm gonna go here to position and just move a little bit towards the uh, left and then I'm gonna go down so I'm gonna go down with this right here this is the uh, X Y and Z so how about we just move it down so there we go if you notice I did touch the plank with uh, a cube you'll see check this out you see that it goes in and then all the way in make sure it doesn't go all the way in because then your leg is actually gonna be inside the minecraft blocks when it runs whatever your monster is so just be sure to keep an eye on this yellow highlight and once you see that it just goes down like this towards the bottom if you see a yellow highlight towards the bottom then that means it's actually touching the plank and that's good that's good so once you have then that go ahead and let me go ahead and re let me just move this a little bit more towards the left all right so once you are done with that you could actually copy the same shape if you want to make a same leg or maybe even a smaller leg then make a new leg but if you want to copy this leg and paste it as a different leg well then go here to copy all right down here is low texture delete box and copy so click on copy and then paste it and there is the same exact leg but its offset is uh, wrong so reset the offset which is simple you just mess with a few numbers if this is your first time with Techni, it's going to be kind of difficult to understand everything because uh, first off, Techni is actually kind of difficult because of all these numbers and offsets and stuff. But once you get the hang of it, then you're going to be great. 
So I'm going to go ahead and, and move this towards the left a little bit. And then I'm going to uh, position it downwards towards the leg. Let's change it. Go down, down, down. And if you want to see a better view, just click on the item or the box, may I say. And you'll see that I need about two more two, two more numbers till it hits the very bottom. Oh, and then actually one more number. There we go. So now there are the two legs of the monster. And it looks kind of beautiful, right? It looks like I'm making John all over again. But no, I'm making myself a green monster. So once you have created yourself both the legs, make sure that you named this leg that you copied a different name. Because look, they're both named leg one, which isn't good. Make sure to cop uh, to call this one leg two, okay? Because if you know if they're the same name, then uh, everything is going to become an error when you're actually coding. So here are the two legs, and now let me go ahead and create myself the body. Here's the body. You can make you can mess around with the dimensions, which is actually making it uh, bigger and bigger. I mean, huge. So we're gonna make this monster have a super huge body, and yeah, let's just keep it like this. He's gonna be a weird looking monster. Uh, just to let you know, I'm not really messing around with. Uh, I'm not doing my best because this is a tutorial. I'm not really making a really crazy monster, but uh, here is the body of the monster, and you don't have to worry about the offset on a body because you're not going to be doing any offset uh, with the body, so it doesn't really make a difference. Just be sure to rename the body on shape one to the body. So body, there we go. Uh, you can spell it. If you spell it wrong, it doesn't really make a difference, but there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this until I actually make my monster because I'm sure you guys already know how to make stuff by now. Just be sure to connect the body with the two legs. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. So while I'm modeling this monster, you'll see that the arm is backwards. Well, the way to make this arm towards you, what you have to do is mess with the offset. So how about we just mess with the offset because that blue ball has to be about right here in the center. You see that it's inside the arm. And what we're going to do is change the offset so it just comes up like this. You see? Now the arm is coming upwards. And there you go. There you have it, the arm. But you could just resize this and mess with the positions. So I'm going to probably put it two more like that. And there you go. So there is the arm. Just make sure that this blue ball is touching the body. Okay? So here's the blue ball. It's touching the body if you want the arm to move. So there's the arm. I'm going to copy this and just rename it. And I'm going to make myself another arm. So now we are back and we are doing the head now. So what you have to do with the offset is that make sure that blue ball is towards the neck of the head. So if you want to make the head move, make sure that you change the offset so it's in the met in the middle. So let me change that right here. Now it's towards the bottom and just make it in the middle like that. There you go. So it doesn't really have to be in the middle. You could just keep it towards the middle, somewhere in the center. And now you just place on the head and you'll be done with your monster. So let me just put this down towards the head. And there it is. I'm done with my monster. It looks like a robot. Uh, the head is kind of like, uh, it's off by a little bit. It's off by one cube. So how about we just make the head a bit bigger. Let me see if I could just make it bigger. No, 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 no. Let's change that. No, that's, uh, that's backwards. There we go. So now I made the head a lot bigger, and there's my monster. So this is my first test. This is just a tutorial. It's not really the best monster. But now we're going to be messing with texturing in the next part. But before we start with the texturing, you guys have to realize that up here it says texture, and everything is overlapping itself. So what you have to do is now mess with the texture offset. So right now, you have to click on every single one of these. See, so I, have, I have this head. Let me just change this to head right here. Head. You have to make sure everything's renamed. Here's arm. I'm going to change that to arm 2. And there we go. So make sure everything's named differently. And once you have done that, let's start me messing around with the uh, texture offset. So start with the legs. All right. So here are the legs. Go here to texture offset. And once you start messing with these numbers, you'll see that the higher you rise, the more it's going to move to the right. So just keep on holding that, and you'll see that the legs are actually going down. Those are the legs' textures. So make sure that everything is not overlapping each other unless you want like your all your legs to be the the same texture then just overlap your legs but make sure that your head texture is not overlapping your leg texture because then that will actually offset everything so I'm gonna go ahead and get both my legs and move them down here so I'm just gonna move them towards the very bottom which is right there just make sure that uh make sure you don't go off 
like this you see I'm going off and now my leg is actually turning invisible just make sure you don't go off this white grid right here this is the white grid make sure not to get off of that and there we go let's just change it like that there I'm, I'm now on the grid and now let's go to the next leg and change the offset and just place it right next to this leg so I'm gonna put both the legs right here I'm gonna put the arms up here and then the body and then the head at the very top and once you have done that then you should be able to uh, you should be able to have a decent texture and then we're gonna be able to color that with color markers yeah we're gonna use color markers now I'm just joking but uh, here are the texture for the next leg I'm just gonna move it towards the bottom right here and move a little bit towards the next leg which is right there and now the arms you have to uh, make sure everything is offset like I said the arm piece is actually really big so this is why I told you guys if you guys are really into uh, textures and all that stuff then be sure to actually change the size of this if you change it to 128 then this white grid will be a lot bigger because you guys are gonna be texturing a lot if you guys want, want like really great details I'm sure mo creatures uh, I'm sure Mo Creatures had a very great uh, texturing time because uh, all of his monsters actually look amazing. So now I'm going to go to this arm and I'm going to move this downwards. So there we go. I'm going to move this about right here onto this arm. If you don't have any more space for your textures, then I would recommend for you to actually uh, change your texture size, which you go to File and I'm sure you go to Edit Project. Yeah, if you go to File, Edit Project, you could change the, the size right here and it'll make it a lot more bigger. So you see that? I just went to 128 and you notice everything got a little bit more. Look at that. Look at all this space I got. But if I go back to uh, 64 by 64, all my space is gone. So the more space you have, the more detail. Let's go to 512. Look how much space you have. You can make a really crazy monster. I mean, you could get into really high detail. But right now, we're just going 60 by 64 by 64 because we don't need any extra space. But if you guys do need extra space, then go to 128. So 64 by 64 is really decent. And what's up? Everything just totally changed. I mean, hold on, hold on. I, I did something wrong. Uh, let me change this. So edit. Oh, I went to the back to 32, so let me go back to 64. There we go. Oh, where? Hey, man, what's going on? Okay, so it seems that Techni doesn't really want to be my friend, so I can't go back to 64 by 64, so what I'm going to do is go to 128, okay? So if you guys uh, are at 64 by 64, then be sure to stay at that, because uh, don't mess around with Techni. It will give you a glitch where you can't go back to 64. So I'm going to go to 128, and I'm going to click close, and it should be able to work, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. I had it working. I had it working. Let me try this one. Let me just try this. Close. There we go. So now it is fixed. And just be sure to change the offset. Like I said, here's the texture offset for the body. So now I'm going to put the body all the way down here because this is a huge body. I'm just going to put the body straight down here underneath the legs. Uh, there we go. So just remember where you're placing everything. And once you have that, uh, then you should be able to be okay. So the last thing is the head. And you are done. So. If you look over here, I have one leg, leg number two, here's arm number one, arm number two, here's body down here, and here is your head. Just remember where you place all these textures because you have to make sure that each one is separate because if they're all overlapping each other, then everyone, every single uh, piece of your skin will actually have a face. So that would be pretty scary. So uh, there you go. Once you have done that, then you're ready for part two, which should be coming out very soon. Um... I'm going to be making it right after this video, so part two should be coming out very soon. Uh, we're going to be texturing our mob. So here's our mob. We're going to be texturing it. So be sure to click on the annotation up above if part two already came out, or be sure to subscribe to me and follow me on Twitter because I'll be you know, announcing when things are uploading and whatnot. So anyways, hopefully you guys will enjoy this tutorial. You can go here to file and save as. Just make sure you save your monster because you don't want to lose it after so much, you know, hours of working. So file, save as, and you can name it whatever you like. So I'm going to name this uh, green monster. And once you have done that, press enter and you are done. And you are ready for, uh, you know, part two, which is going to be coming out later on. So file, save as, and once you are done, there you go. You can start texturing if you really know how to texture your monster. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. See you guys in part two.